Well, hello everyone. Amen. It's a beautiful day out. Beautiful, beautiful day. Amen. Um, I want to talk about something. Something's got me a little riled up, you know, today. Something got me a little riled up today. All my Christian walk, every, about every uh, week or a month or year, might go two or three years, then somebody will start running this mouth. The devil's been doing it. The devil runs his mouth. About me being a Christian. I'm a Christian. I said that on Facebook. I put it on. I don't care who knows I'm a Christian. I'm a man of God. If people don't like that, they can get over it. My family will just have to get over it. They don't want nothing to do with me. They can stay away from me just like they are. I really don't care. I'm not going to give Jesus up for nobody, for a wife, for a job, for money, for nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing I would take from my relationship with Christ. Nothing. I'll read something to you. If, if you do anything, you need to go here and read this today. Luke chapter 9. Go there. Get your Bible. Get it out. Dust it off. Read this. If you want to be a Christian, you got to live this way. The true cost of discipleship. The true cost of being a Christian. Salvation is free. Rightly, it is free. It is paid for by grace. It's not by works, lest any man should boast. Salvation is free. But it's going to cost you everything you got to keep it. That's what I tell everybody. Anybody wants me to lead them to Christ. Anybody tells me to, to, to uh, show them Jesus. I tell them. Salvation is free, but it's going to cost everything you got. Everything you got. You got to lay down your life for him because he laid down his life for you. You're no better than your Lord or your master. Jesus is your master. You're not your own master anymore. You're not your own boss anymore. You know, man, I'm just riled up today. Hmm. And he said to them, verse 23 of chapter 9 of Luke, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever save his life, it, but whosoever, um, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake the same shall find it. You got to lose your life. You got to lose yourself in him. You're not yours anymore. I tell everybody that. I've told every, a lot of people this. I do not belong to myself. I belong to him. He bought me with a price. He paid for me. I belong to him. I am his. I am not mine to do what I want to do anymore. The Bible says I was once a slave to sin. I was slave to unrighteousness. But now I am a slave of God. I'm a slave of righteousness. I got to change. I can't be that old man anymore. I can't be that person anymore. And if you want to follow God, you can't neither. You got to follow the path. Amen. And it's one person deep, Christ. Let me read that again. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. If you try to save yourself, you try to do this work yourself, you try to be a Christian yourself, you're going to lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. For what a man advantage if he gains the whole world and loses himself and be a castaway. For whosoever shall be ashamed of me, of my words, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in his own glory and in the Father, fathers and of his holy angels. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to be a Christian. I put that on Facebook. And if you agree, find that post and agree to it. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not ashamed of being a Christian, and I don't care who knows it. And if you don't like me because I'm a Christian, just stay away from me and leave me alone. I don't bother you. 
I don't care that you're a sinner. I don't care that you're fallen from grace. I pray for you. I pray for your soul. I pray you to repent and come to know Jesus. I pray for all of you. Everybody on my prayer list, this is a big one. Let's keep it growing. But I pray for you all that you know Jesus. I love you. I don't want to see you go to hell. I don't hate anybody that much. A lot of people hate me that much. They hate me real bad because I'm a Christian. I don't understand it. Even my own family, my own friends used to be friends. They deserted me. Counted me for loss. But praise God, as Apostle Paul says, I count everything loss that I may win Christ. I may win Christ. Don't be afraid, people. This is last days. Man, this is a time when we ought to be standing up for Christ. This is a time when we ought to stand up and tell our friends and our family, if you don't follow Christ, you're going to hell. That, hey, I didn't make the rules. This book did. God did. God wrote the book. God paid the price. He died on the cross for you and for me and for everybody. And if you don't follow him, you will go to hell. That's a promise. And not everybody that receives him, not everybody that says, I'm sorry, goes to heaven. I'm, again, it's not my book. I didn't write it. Jesus did. Jesus made the rules. If you try to save yourself, you will lose yourself. But if you lose yourself in him, you will find yourself. And you'll find a better self. Man, being a Christian ain't a down time. Being a Christian is, is the best time I've ever lived in my life is being a Christian. I was a sinner once and I was a good one. I drank and done dope and had fast cars and, and dated whores. I, I done all the stuff that everybody out there does. But praise God, I found Jesus. He wasn't lost, I was. He found me, see? Found, I am found. I am no longer lost because I am walking with him. I walk with him, hand in hand. Don't hate me because I'm a Christian. Hate it that you're not. You know, I don't, I don't hate you. I love you, every one of you. God died for you. And he says, I, I got to love you. So I got to love everybody. Because he loved first, loved me. He gave me a love I didn't have. When I when I was a sinner, I had a love. You know, if you done good to me, I done good to you. If you didn't do good to me, I done bad to you. Same as you were doing bad to me. I don't do that no more. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Let that stuff go, man. Let all those problems and issues of your life, let them go. Come to Jesus. Let him help you fix it. He will. He helped this old boy right here fix his life. And I had a mess. My life was a mess, man. My wife died. I crashed. I just didn't know what to do. Nothing no more. And he brought me up out of that bit of affliction. He set me on a solid rock himself. Jesus gave me a better life. I ain't got a song today. I just got a word. And I, and I know it's a little stout word. But if you don't serve Christ, you're going to hell. And that's just, that's just the way it is. You may think I'm judgmental, but I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth in God's book. He don't want you to go to hell. That, that's not his plan. 2 Peter 3, 9 says, God is not slack concerning his promises. As some men count slackness, but is long-suffering, not willing that any should perish, that all should come to repentance. It's his idea that everybody be saved, none be lost. Why do you think he wrote the parable? Leave the 99. Go find that one that's lost. Because he has a heart for the lost. I was lost once and now I'm found. You could be found, amen. You could find a life in Christ. God ain't lost. He's right there knocking on your heart, wanting to come in. Let him in. Let him in today. Say that prayer. You'll not regret it. Praise God. Be safe out there. Love everybody. And share the gospel of Christ with someone.